Hi and welcome to a bonus episode from the Getting Things Done podcast from Vital Learning. I am Martin Revik and uh, I do not have Lars with me in this intro, but later in this episode you will hear his voice and uh, hear us talk about getting things done with others. We've been granted to uh, do a takeover of the podcast of uh, Getting Things Done, the official podcast from David Allen Company. And I think without further ado, we will just run that episode. So enjoy. Hi and welcome to a bit of a different episode of the official Getting Things Done podcast. My name is Morten Røvik and I'm here today with my good friend and colleague Lars Rotskill Hendriksen. Privet Lars. Privet Morten, happy to be here. Um, some of you will know that uh, Morten and I speak all the time when we record our own podcast about GTD, but we've been allowed to do a short takeover of this podcast, mainly to talk about the value of getting things done with others. Um, we are both GTD master trainers in the Nordic region and have a partnership in the company delivering GTD and trainings here called Vital Learning. Um, we wanted to dive into three different topics today. Yes, we would like to firstly uh, talk about the Getting Things Done Summer Camp of 2024, where you can meet, network and create a relationship with other GTDers to enhance your GTD practice. And secondly, we want to touch upon the new book that is arriving sometime in the period of March slash May with David Allen and Ed Lamont, who will uh, teach you about team, getting things done with others. And thirdly, GTD Connect membership, where you can meet people in forums, discuss and learn and gain access to the vast library of getting things done learning resources there. So let's go to topic number one, Loris. Uh, why a summer camp? Yeah, so um, this is something that we've been doing in Denmark for a number of years now. Um, we've always had quite a quite an active uh, GTD community in, in Denmark, which has been a lot of fun uh, over the years. And um, there was a, a wish to to connect more and to dive more into the methodology and share tips and tricks. And, uh, you know, uh, as we always say, GTDers are the nicest people in the world. And that really mm -hmm. just shows at this uh, GTD summer camp, everyone wants to to uh, chip in and, and, and you know, help help others uh, improve their own GTD practice. So this, uh, this started as a request from the community. We set it up. We had an organizing group, which has uh, stayed on all of the time. So big thanks to, to them. We set it up the first time back in September 2021 one where we had uh, rented a uh, an observatory of all places uh, that I think the darkest place in Denmark really because it was uh, <laughs> very sort of strict uh, limitations from the government on how much light there could be which of course allowed for everyone to really think higher horizons look at the stars and, and, and enjoy the scenery um, so we had a, a weekend there had a lot of fun uh, sharing our, our own, uh, tips and tricks in, in GCD and um, we wanted to do more so we set up a new summer camp in, in 2022. We did it in the summer instead. So we moved it to, to June, uh, found a really nice place where we could uh, could be close to the, the sea, um, nice rooms for everyone and nice facilities for presentations, uh, a, a lot of room for socializing with other GCDers. Um, just next to the water, we could go for a swim. It was uh, it was great, and uh, yeah, again, look at the stars and the, and the higher horizons was a, a perfect analogy there. Um, so we uh, we repeated that in uh, in 2023, same location. Uh, now we were up to about 45 participants. I think we're we're between 15 and 20 the first year, um, and and the fourth year will then be this year, June 15 to 16, 2024, same location. So still here in Denmark, not very close to the airport, but we always figure it out when it comes to transportation. So we'll, you know, we'll get a get a ride with me, or we'll figure out the public transportation and pick everyone up, and, and that usually works out uh, works out nicely. And uh, it's just been growing. Um, we hope to be 
between 50 and 60 participants this year, and we already have uh, half of those seats reserved by now. Um, it's And it's becoming even more global than we ever thought. So initially, it was actually more global than we had thought. It, it started in Denmark because we had such a, a significant community here, but we had people flying in from several countries, and this year it's even several continents. It's uh, North America, it's South America, it's Asia, it's Europe. There are really you know, people coming from all around the world now to just hang out and, and, and enjoy the weekend. And it's, um, it's, it's so much fun. It's, uh, it's worth noting that it's non-profit for us. So we always just, um, you know, negotiate a good the deal with the venue that where we are staying at. So we have all the food and accommodation uh, included. And that's, that's basically what you pay for. Uh, Morten and I go there every year and we travel on our, our own dime as well. Um, so really trying to, to minimize the cost to make sure that the mm. summer camp is available for, for everyone. Hmm. And it, it is truly a non-profit that is nobody who, who has a presentation or, or, or um, a keynote there it makes any money on that. It's just hmm. as a service to the community to help each other get it better at getting things done. For those of you who are a little scared traveling to Denmark, feeling that, oh, well, I don't know how to get to the venue and such, then that is not a problem because we do, when you do your sign up, you will tell people, I need help to get there. And there will be somebody getting in touch with you to make sure that you know how to get there. Either you will be picked up, as Lars said, in a car, or they, we will show you how to get there with public transport and maybe pick you up closer to the venue. So that is not a problem. Um, one of the things that I, I think we should now focus on um, is the value of why would you go and you know hang out with others to learn getting things done uh, like we do in mm. the summer camp. Yeah. What is well, your for take me? On that, I mean, the, the community is is really just you know enjoying that weekend with other GTDers, other like-minded people. Um, just the, the companionship, a lot of, uh, you know, nice companionships have, have uh, blossomed following uh, people that have attended the summer camp. Um, of course, the starting point is learning GCD or becoming better GCDers. Most of them will be seasoned GCDers, but there are new GCDers there as well, just to to pick up and, and learn more. And um, the vision for us when we organize it is really that you leave extremely inspired about your GCD practice and, and to expand on that really uh, about life. Um, to, to be honest, there are so many yeah, fun stories to share and, and so many things mm. that happened over those uh, those weekends. And it's just, you know, the, the inspiration and the, the people that show up, um, you know, um, it can be uh, different attendees that will then oh, look at the way that I do things. So have you thought about this? Or maybe you can try this mm. or look at this checklist that I made. And, you know, people will know what you mean. These are these are like minded people. Uh, so for mm. me, it's always an inspiration to to spend that weekend with them and, you know, share the reflection and just have fun with the nicest people in the world. Hmm. Uh, well, I, I, I will second that. And um, the, the, one of the things that's been really valuable for me is the, um, uh, some a, a part of this is to do a walk and talk. So during the, the weekend, there will be a walk and talk where you will partner up with some other person there and you will walk and just talk about whatever you want to. Um, hmm. One of the, the most uh, the, the things that I'm looking forward to uh, is that walk and talk because I've uh, buddied up with Michael. Hi, Michael, if you're listening. Uh, <laughs> he and I are sharing our life at a very deep level. We, we are really uh, opening up our hearts and minds with, to the struggles we have in life. And that is a very valuable uh, talk that I have with Michael and he has a second that with me. And uh, just talk about everything that's heavy in life. And that's been good. Really the higher horizons, what is bugging you, what is not good. And that's, it's, it's, uh, I wouldn't say that, that you, you, all people will do that. What do you do, Lars, when you, when you do mm. walk and talk? Do you, what, what's been your value of the walk and talk? Well, it's been um, different, I think. From, from year to year, I, I love that this was always a part of the summer camp because it's always so valuable to have that one-on-one -on -one time. And we actually set aside a full mm. hour, we will in, in 2024 as well, to, to just have a walk um, around on the beach if the weather permits. Uh, Danish summer weather can be 
uh, varying, let's say. <laughs> but uh, but we've been lucky for the most part to 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 be able to to take these walks, and it's mm. been really different for me from year to year. I think for me it's always interesting to hear the different perspectives how GTD is so universally applied, no matter where you come from. So so mm. I had some some nice walks with people from halfway around the world, uh, and we still have so much in common. Uh, and it's always so interesting to hear how people have used it, learn more about their lives, mm. and how they have uh, have picked up GCD to to help them in their lives. Um, but it really can be different from from person to person what what they they benefit and how deeply they go. Um, I would also highlight the the GCD buddies, the GCD partnerships that that mm. have blossomed from the summer camp. It's been been awesome. Um, I know people that you know it's yeah more than half years since uh, since last uh, since since there was a summer camp where some people joined up and they still do their weekly reviews together online. Yeah, um, virtually just sit there and do it together and and share how how it went and and reflections on on their weekly review. So mm. some really nice uh, companionship and, and partnership can can blossom from there. Um, I know there's a podcast, a very nice nerdy podcast that was spotted by by two people that uh, that met at their summer mm. camp uh, as well. Um, some people have, I remember especially one person sharing that that she had taken some things off her someday maybe list and activated some really big major life changes that happened after the summer camp. So mm -hmm. just that time for reflection and 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 spending time with with like-minded people can actually make some really significant changes in life. Um, so, but it, again, it's very different. Some people take more action on their list. Some people mm -hmm. start to look more at the higher horizons. Some people adjust different parts of their workflow. Um, it it really varies. Uh, but but the feedback that all attendees had was that they always leave inspired, and that is again what we're looking for. Indeed, indeed. Um, what would you do, Lars, if you want to learn more about uh, the GTD summer camp? Where would you ask people to go? I would suggest to go to gtdsummercamp.com, all one word, and that will redirect you to the Danish Vital Learning website where we uh, have all of the information currently available at the mm. moment. Um, mm. The program is still tentative. We always uh, work on this, but we have a a pretty good idea of what we will be be focusing on this year. Um, we established the team, uh, starting we established the theme of the 2024 summer camp pretty early on, which is getting things done together, which again lines up nicely with the team book coming out. Um, so what we intend to do is to um, focus again on on systems we always like to geek out on that we have played uh, around with how much of the the program we should spend on on these systems presentations and sharing your systems uh, for those people that want to do that um, and uh, and we'll keep that as well uh, this year with the angle of how do you then interact with others using your GTD system so I'll, I'll be looking forward to that um, we are talking right now about having a a uh, deep dive on some some Microsoft tools and how that works with uh, Copilot and everything. Um, hopefully, we will have Ed Lamont joining us to talk about the team book. David will join us uh, virtually. He already um, said uh, said to me that he will join us. We have Thais from Brazil talking about productivity and compassion, and yeah, so many so many cool things. We have one attendee who is bringing his uh, first draft of a GTD board game. Um, I mean, that's just so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 one one last thing to mention, um, we always do a weekly review together. So this is a Saturday and a Sunday. We always have a Sunday morning will be a weekly review together. And I don't know if you've ever done a weekly review with fifty other people in the same room together, but there's just some kind of magical vibe that that happens when you do a weekly review there. So. Um, and it's so a lot quiet. of fun and really hope to be there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you can just hear, you can feel the, the tension and the thinking in the room and, and so many cool, mm. cool thoughts are happening right at that moment. Yeah, yeah. so, so ggdsummercamp.com for, for signing up and uh, finding more information about it. So yeah. we hope to see you. So yeah. let's yeah. move one, on to one last the... thing that I did not mention yet was was one comment from from Hans from Germany last year who said mm. I have found my tribe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just love that uh, that way of phrasing it mm. uh, because it's mm. it's a lot about companionship especially with this year's uh, theme and that was just so yeah such a nice way to uh, to phrase it. Yeah. So come come join us and uh, maybe you also will find your tribe. So mm. good. I'm sure so let's 
so let's move on to the to the new book that is coming. Um, David Allen and uh, his partner in L London, or one of his partners in London, um, in the Next Action Associates company called Ed Lamont, they've written co-written a book together. Um, they call it Team: Getting Things Done with Others. And uh, both you and I have been uh, granted access to a preview copy of this. And um, mm -hmm. I've just started reading and uh, I am excited. Have you read something still, Lars? Same as you, just the first chapter and, and really looking forward to diving more into it. Um, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, at the t it's at the top of my reading pile. <laughs> Definitely yeah. looking forward to, to diving into that one. On mine too. So, so but the reason we are mentioning this now and uh, why this is um, um, at all interesting to talk about, except that it is a new book from David, is that we've um, both La both Lars and I um, hear this a lot, where you have uh, you know a family or a member who doesn't get getting things done, and how do I get them to work with me? How do I how do I give this to others? Which is kind of like the holy grail for a, holy grail for a lot of people. But now we have a book uh, that it will come out that is addressing team. Um, uh, the team activities around getting things done. How can a team get things done uh, using the methodology? And mm. uh, I, I think that is is a valuable, especially maybe in companies. I'm not sure that uh, your family will be very happy if you gave them that book, <laughs> Team Getting Things Done With Others. They may not be uh, very enthused oh, to, to see. join you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Lars's wife is in his business, so I'm sure. Yeah, I've <laughs> she... updated my uh, gift ideas list for her that she will be getting <laughs> <laughs> a signed copy of the getting of the getting things done with others. Yes. So, the, but we are um, looking forward to this because it is addressing something that we've been heard universally: is that how can I get my colleagues to work like this? And that, you know, uh, you have a department lead or a managing director saying, I would like my company to do this. How can we do this together? And mm. this is um, um, low having hanging fruit for doing that. Um, and that is, well, we heard uh, different things. I think Amazon.com says it comes in May. We've heard that it's going to be a book release in March by from, from David Allen Company and David Allen himself. So we, for not confusing people, so sometime, sometime between March and May, there will be a book. <laughs> so uh, if you go, go to amazon.com and search for um, team getting things done with others, you can uh, uh, probably sign up to get a, uh, an email when it's uh, released. Um, and now let's move on to our third topic, uh, gt GTD Connect membership. Um, what is what is uh, the GTD Connect, Lars? So GTD Connect is the uh, member forum for GTDs all around the world, where there is a, a, a very active forum to discussing GTD, discussing the methodology, discussing different tools and tips and tricks. Um, so many uh, valuable um, posts in there and, and you'll uh, frequently find Morton and myself in there as well, sometimes commenting on on different posts and our reflections and how we uh, how we would approach the different questions that, that show up in there. Um, and the other um, part that I would highlight is the media library that you already mentioned in the beginning. Um, so many resources in there, so valuable for me to, to dive in when I need to refine different parts of my practice or expand. Um, so as many other GCDers, I had started off with, uh, you know, parts of GCD and started to build on that. And it was just such a, a great uh, supporting resource in, in improving the different aspects of GCD for myself. So hmm. uh, things like the areas of focus, how would I establish those? What might that look like? Well. There is a video in there. There's a recording from an old webinar where they will walk you through that. Um, my weekly review, I'm struggling a bit with that. How could I do that? Well, there's a guided weekly review. Just mm -hmm. head on in there and, and go through that. And there's just, mm -hmm. you know, I know this from myself. I know this from, from many, many coaching clients that this is just such a valuable resource. So highly recommend a, a membership in the GTD mm -hmm. Connect. Indeed. Uh, one of the things that I've really enjoyed there, is that, you know, as you mentioned, just on, on my personal note, is that the, um, uh, uh, the forums where you can discuss and you can talk and you can uh, 
you know, uh, exchange ideas that's been really valuable for me. And as you mentioned, the, the library of, of almost anything that the David Allen mm. company has ever made about getting things done is in there. So if you, you need to set up a tool, there's a, uh, you know, all the setup guides are there for all the, you know, to do and uh, Outlook and uh, one, uh, OneNote and uh, OmniFocus and everything. So everything is in there um, and uh, it, it is really a good learning resource and, and a way to hang out and learn with others. Mm. Um, so so that, 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 that is basically what we wanted to tell you today. Um, we hope that we have inspired you to look into how you can get things done together with other people. And we hope also that we will see you in this year's uh, GGD Summer Camp, June 15 to 16 in Denmark. Go to ggdsummercamp.com to sign up and for have more information. And if you want, you can, in addition to the official uh, GGD podcast, also listen to Lars and me teach you uh, getting things done in our podcast, Getting Things Done from Vital Learning. So we hope that we have given you something that is valuable. And until next time, stay safe and stay productive. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.